Morning everybody, it's Friday the 3rd of June, uh, public holiday here in the UK and we're at Crick for the 2022 Crick Boat Show and uh, we are just about to head in uh, with the boys and our little girl here. We managed to get in yesterday for the trade day so we got some, uh, got to look at some boats, um, some really nice boats and we're going to put some footage of those up and today we're heading in we're going to look at some of the chandlery and uh, some of the marquees and things and uh, just see what's going on so yeah it was it was really good getting the preview tickets wasn't it oh, i was great thoroughly yeah, recommend um, it you know it was really like so less busy we didn't have to queue for a long time to get on the boats and it was just really well organized and yeah, you just got a, to see a bit more of the show without the big crowds there at all. They so. had a booking system for the boats, but actually there are plenty of gaps between, so even boats that you hadn't booked to get on, you could just turn up and, and get a look at without a long queue or anything. Yeah, so and even though we've, we've got our own new boat, we're nine months old now, you always like looking at other boat features to see like how other boat, boat companies do it or little features that you could add to your boat or... Yeah, looking see. for the next boat in who knows how many years time yeah so. we think we've already seen that <laughs> so yeah. probably not a good idea to look too hard but, yeah so uh, we'll anyway. we'll be sharing with you a bit later which boat got our vote for the um the best boat in show we saw a boat that the minute we walked on it we're like this is it this is the favorite so uh stay tuned for that for later in the video uh and just enjoy our time and our showing you around the show So as you can see, it was really busy with a lot of dogs at the show. Um, it's a bit crazy with our three, so we decided to give them some peace and quiet and take them back to the boat. We had a lovely walk back along the towpath, looking at all the boats that were decorated for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. We were moored at Crick Wharf Marina, which is a really lovely small marina, and we were lucky enough to be sharing it with some of our other favourite YouTube vloggers. Yeah. 
and we even got to celebrate Rufus's birthday. He's where's the name is dog from YouTube channel Boat Time. So back to the show for us while the dogs stay home and nap. So we also took the chance to have a look around some camper vans because we'd never actually seen one up close and personal before. And then it was over to the water to see all the boats on display. This is the boat that we did our helmsman course in. There were a few used boats on show and we had a chance to go and look in one of the ones that was built in an old traditional style, built in 2010 with a gardener engine. You enter from the stern down into the boatman's cabin and back in the olden days of the working boats this would be where the working family would have slept 
and lived on their boat. Steps pulled away for access to a double bed under the tub deck. We bought a couple of extra copies of the March edition of Waterways World magazine that featured our boat. And then we got to tour some of the beautiful boats on show. Comment below which of these would have got your vote for the favourite boat in show and we'll let you know which one we chose at the end.
So which one did we vote for? We voted for the Oakham's Even Star, the last boat that you just saw, which ended up actually winning favourite boat in show. And this was the wide beam that won the favourite boat in show, which we didn't actually get to go on board, sadly. We treated ourselves to a 99 and then went off to explore a little more of the show. There were lots of masterclasses and seminars during the show. We'd been looking forward to the first showing of the Coast to Canal video where round the world yachtswoman Dika Fari went to live aboard narrowboat Laura Maisie from YouTube channels Floating Our Boat for two days. I've put a link to the video below in the description if you'd like to take a look. And finally, a little taster of some of the music that we enjoyed at the show. I just want to say thank you to all of the subscribers and viewers that came to see us during the show. It was so lovely to put some faces to some names. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you want to follow more of our adventures, then click that subscribe button. Bye bye.